Hi, I'm Laura Diamond in Institute Communications at Georgia Tech. We are here on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., where Georgia Tech hosts two national roundtable discussions looking at attracting more African-American men into STEM. One event for congressional staffers was held at Capitol Hill, a second event for media at the National Press Club. Gary May, Dean of the College of Engineering, is serving as host, and he spoke about the challenges we face in reaching out to this demographic. African-American men face unique challenges. Uh, they, by and large, come from under-resourced, uh, disadvantaged environments. So there's a resource challenge. Uh, there's also a role model challenge. Uh, former Surgeon General Joyce Lynn Elder said, you can't be what you can't see. And engineers, by and large, as a, as a career, as a profession, we're not visible to that community. Mathematics and science, those are the, foundation of, those are the foundations of STEM. I feel like having those strong uh, foundations within those students and then showing them the application, and those younger students, and showing them the applications of STEM and how it, can, um, and how it relates to mathematics and science, um, I feel like that can increase the number of African-American men in STEM. I think it's a huge competitive advantage to have uh, an engineering education, and I would love for my fellow black men to have that, that competitive advantage. Um, I've been afforded so many opportunities just because of you know, my ability to solve problems and my ability to think critically. And um, you know, a lot of people are missing out on that opportunity because they're not exposed to engineering, they're not exposed to science in the way that makes it interesting to them. We want to make engineering a mainstream word in homes and communities of color. And in order for us to do that, we really have to hit it in multiple, and through multiple channels, through television, through radio, through the web, a constant message to homes and communities of color that engineering is the future and that there's a promise and a joy in engineering. This roundtable served as a follow-up to one Georgia Tech held last year in D.C., that one looking at women in engineering. It is also part of a larger roundtable initiative taking place where we are going across the country to talk about critical issues. For more information about our experts, please visit amplifier.gatech.edu or learn more about this story and other events in our news center.